So after somewhat uneventful yet eventful last part where we um, became allies with the Scythians who were once our blood enemies but are now our blood brothers uh, and they got a lot of horses over there. They sent us 20 Mangadaya. So we are going to send our villagers down here into this protected area that I like to call the paradise of stone and gold that we're going to take advantage of here. And pretty soon, these guys, the blue demons I like to refer to not as DePaul University, but as the Western Roman Empire, are going to go down. And if you haven't noticed, this is what the Scythians will do for you. Although they're just firing with arrows, we know f f uh, arrows can start fires in stone buildings. So we're going to have these Mangadias and Cavalry Archers work for us, for the Scythians. And for some reason, don't tell me how this occurs. More black magic, more glitchiness in this unrealistic game. Uh, I like to refer to as Age of Empires, which is yet one of the most realistic games uh, in the RTS gaming industry. And we're going to send you down there to build the lumber camp because what I did was in the last part I got a bunch of research technologies and uh, we're getting prepped to go attack um, the Western Roman Empire so what you want to do here is uh, you want to build about I'm gonna build about five long swordsmen and I'm gonna use a couple of these guys I'm gonna use two of these guys to build a castle uh, marked right over here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a castle out here, a nice outpost area to deteriorate and uh, destroy the Western Roman base. So, oh, knights! You know they just send knights over here. They're just gallivanting over here. Ones that sneak through the Scythian wall over here, and they get killed. They get they get chopped up along with their remote control boats firing at my somehow burning gate of stone. Um, in addition, I'm going to build up a couple of pea turds. Uh, turds completely made out of urine, which would um, indicate a serious case of kidney stones. Uh, but those are painful, so I'm not going to get into that. You don't need to bring those negative images uh, into this gaming environment. Um, but in this part, what we're going to do is we're just going to be doing maintenance, uh, getting prepped for our little assault on the Western Roman base, and in the next part, uh, just doing the same, and I'll probably skip ahead, I don't know what you guys think, uh, I'd like to hear your say, if you want me to skip ahead a little bit and not show the entire raid that the Scythians will take, which will take 25 Fortnites, yes I'm speaking in medieval sense, no one says Fortnite anymore, um, which will take a long time, uh, to say the least, I don't know if you want to see that whole assault on the Persian base, I'll probably skip ahead for most of it. And I'm probably not going to use my own. And see, look at what these Scythians do. They got a feud going with the blue guys. The green goblin. The green... You know what? They have just envy. You know how green is a symbol for envy? They have that just consuming them right now. They're envious of the rain that the Persians have over them. They're envious of the, the wealth and the, the, the fame and the dominance that the Western Roman Empire has over them. So they're envious, and they want to throw down the gauntlet. So they get a couple arrows, bodkin arrows, some fletching going. And they, you know, they pepper up those. They riddle their enemies with their their envy-powered arrows. So uh, you want to keep, oh, no, 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 not a good decision. I'm going to set you at no attack stance. And what you want to do is you want to build a castle right here in range of these watchtowers but out of range of their fire and then this guy is just you can build Tarkins what out the wazoo long swordsman do your dirt uh, dirty work take out these men at arms and this is a good time to build a treadmill crane so that's what I'm gonna do treadmill crane like I said great when you want to build uh, buildings in a quick amount of t uh, short amount of time quick amount of time makes zero sense who are you firing at well we're gonna do the bait and switch technique Send my long swordsman out. Do a little matador going on. Do a little. What do you, what do you call it? Yeah, the matador. These guys are the bull. They're coming after the matador. They're not gonna hit me, but they're just gonna keep chasing. They're gonna get tired and they're gonna die. Courtesy of the behemoth being built right now. I could send these long swordsmen into battle. But I don't want to put it in the fray at this point because archers, you're not archers of the eyes, they're normal archers with no uh, blacksmith increases on their 
their fire on their armor. Not to worry. Long Swordsman will be protected. Behemoth is on the Gunvader Belt. It is built, and you're dead. So we're going to breach their base pretty soon here. Um, I like to use these P-Turds. Send them down here. Um, I don't know if they get increases in their hit points or whatever by the blacksmith. They do not. I don't believe the siege workshop um, comes into play either for them, but that's too bad. They're missing out on some great one clogging action that we like to call the blacksmith. And let's check out our Scythians going to action, doing work. I don't know if they actually take care of the gates. I don't know if they, uh, you know, AI tend to have a little mental conundrum going on when they need to take down walls or gates so I don't know if they respond to those guys let's check out on this group down here well, that's a doozy you're already done so we're gonna do this and we're gonna send our villagers over here and hopefully we'll be protected by our friends in green so those Persians won't send those elephants to sneak through and just obliterate my villagers um, what are you doing Oh, you're you're going for the outpost. I see how you're. So I see what you're doing. For some reason, the outpost is more important. You know what to do. Knock it down. Not in this case. I'm not a Scottish narrator. You go for the watchtower, not the outpost. Learn ranks of importance in this game, Patimus. I'm not going to be here babysitting you for for the next 20 eons. I need you in the El Cid campaign. I need you in the Montezuma campaign. I need you in the battles of the conquerors. So right now. This is about all you get is strategy. Just use your allies. No babysitting for the Scythians. They'll do work. And we're going to send these P-Turds in. I don't know if this will completely take care of the Byzantine Castle. They don't have the complete Byzantine Castle upgrade quite yet, which is a mother. Um, you better not blow up. All right, so uh, we're in proximity to that castle anyways. And learn ranks of importance, please. So we're just sending some P-Turds pretty soon here into that castle, and that'll be it for them. And uh, I don't believe they have much in, f in ways of resources, so I believe they start out with a quota that they cannot get any higher than other than food. But of course you need wood and you need gold to get some more archers and m more men-at-arms, so they cannot produce any more units, at least uh, not if they're getting tributes or anything. Oh, that brings me... Uh, I got to do this, and I, I, let's what you want to do to target the market and that is quite a ways away so we're gonna build some of these trade carts build about eight of them send them on their way I don't believe that they get the upgrade two times as fast let's check this out let's check this out where are you at my where are you at market there you are um, that would be caravan I don't know if I already researched that I believe I already did so they should have two times the speed always make sure you do that um, and now we can get some P turds going I recommend getting about six more uh, just so you can use them on some other buildings if you need to and now we can take out this archery range that's nice to get rid of just because you don't want those archers coming out and like I said they don't have a town center or any villagers so they cannot repair or rebuild buildings so not to worry um, and I believe I have some idle villagers somewhere you're in a Mindu, I realize that and uh, let's check out the stone so for some reason the Scythians like to skimp on the stone so uh, we're gonna go over there um, they're not stoners good to know that's why we got intelligent Scythians that we don't need to babysit and uh, you firing on the archery range good work my friend behemoth finally learning finally learning um, don't know where you're going farmer farmer brown you pulling an a-wall on me I don't want you doing that where's Attila no he's pulling he's really pulling an a-wall on me don't know where that guy is don't know where that guy is well, uh, he might be in danger right now, but I'm not going to worry about him because he's self-sufficient. He's learned how to do the uh, the guillotine honors for himself. He's seen it. He's been through the he's been through the mill. I guess that makes sense. Not really sure if that's a saying. So if you guys want me to spit out some more strats or whatnot, or if you just want me to ramble and do my traditional age vampires talk, um, you know, spit that out. Tell me if you want me to do some more strategy. If you got, I mean, there's not a ton of strategy. Most of this is self-explanatory. You guys are smart. You guys are smart gamers. I got a smart gaming community around me. I don't know if I have to uh, do any more in-depth commentary about strategies or technologies or um, different uh, factions. But if you if you want me to, um, spit it out. So 
nothing really too important in terms of uh, monastery, so we're going to leave that there. And um, Peter, is you ready? Uh, you still doing work? Good work, good work. I don't believe I can increase their power, and at this point, there's really not much else that you can do uh, in terms of boosting your resource gathering or production. And these guys, 29 gold, so that's a bevy of gold. And I don't know if they have a dock either. No, the Scythians, the Mongols, they're not too fr uh, too fond of the the uh, imports coming from sea. So we're gonna, you know, just put that off to the side and let them be. And I'd like to know where Attila is. I mean, he's a wall. He's out there somewhere, wherever Attila is. No, you're not in there. Oh, Attila, Attila, giving me a little heart attack, a little cardiac arrest. Why don't you? All right, so caravan, caravan, gotta love that. Stable, you're all set. I want you to build it. Do, you know, when that dead farm just looks there, everything just looks desolate, obviously. Makes me feel like I'm not doing my job, so I always gotta repair those real quickly. And you do have some more units. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for... Those guys will probably die pretty soon here, so I'm gonna go for something that I won't get killed by more p turds to take out these guys or no just to take out the watchtowers and then we'll just send whatever units we like into to take care of the rest of the unit producing bases uh re unit producing base so for about the next week and a half just to give you guys an update i'm just going to be focusing strictly on age of empires most likely if i want to i'll throw in some pokemon silver but that's going to be my other side walkthrough at this point i don't know about halo if you guys want me to put a halo out there Go ahead. I'm going to finish that eventually, but not now. It's going to be... It's just pushed off the side. When I don't got anything going on. I might jump into that. But I know you guys like the Conquerors, so I'm going to keep this coming. About two videos a day I'm trying to um, for two weeks solid. And then I'll probably introduce another walkthrough, which will most likely be Pokemon Silver. Um, and once I get Pokemon Silver going, I'll probably jump to the 20-minute video, but no more than that. That's uh, to a recommendation of a certain uh, viewer. Um, I forgot your... I forgot your uh, your screen name, so sorry about that. I'll put it. I'll try if I remember. I'll try to put it as a subtitle uh, later on. My bad. Try to. I try to keep my game community recognized and in the loop. So, and I'm sorry for the music lapse as well. Music lapse, you suck. I need a new DJ. Maybe I should just play music in the background. Uh, maybe not though, because the way Fraps records, you really can't do that, and the way my computer records, you really can't do that. So I recommend uh, you don't take out the houses all the time, but you pretty much got pretty much got nothing else to do. And I just want to get this guy rid of because he's just annoying me. I go over there, I look at the burning tower. I think something's up. It ain't up. So I get my hopes up, get my heart racing for no reason, shortening my life. Um, so I'm just gonna just gonna end that anxiety at the uh, right now. So two more watchtowers remain after this. So that means couple more p turds need to be produced and i don't know if they have murder holes or not but i'm assuming they do um so i'm just not gonna put that at um question i'm just gonna go ahead and take out the watchtowers in about two more minutes this video will be over so part five will be done uh, but thanks for watching part five. Oh, only one more watchtower so very nice apparently three p turds does the job and mangonels you will not get past this blood drawn and Blood's just strown everywhere. Go hand in hand with the whale blood. What do you want more of? Elephant blood or whale blood? I don't know, King Ahab. Alright, so one more p -turd. Couple more. Doing work, doing work. Get some more gold for me. Greed is good. Greed works. Moby Dick, Wall Street, whatever movie, whatever book you want, I got reference to. Cultural reference is my forte. Actually, it's not. All right, so P turd, I'm gonna send you down here, and that about no, got about 40 more seconds to go. Um, oh, is that they don't, I don't believe they have siege onagers. I believe they only get up to the Mangonel. We don't need to worry about the siege onager next. Uh, only until the next mission, which Directium, I don't really know how to pronounce them. They have siege onagers, so I don't like that. Uh, but we'll focus on that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And yes, I did kill the iron boar, which was really annoying me. And goodbye, watchtower. So all they have left are a couple dumb, useless unit or structures. So I'm going to send these long swordsmen out, and I'm going to take care of these archery ranges and barracks um, in the next video. So thanks for watching this. I'll continue to take care of Western Roman Empire, and they'll do their job, the Scythians, on Persian. So I'll see you guys later in part six.